All right, in this video, I'm going to add bones. So what I've got right here is the lamp that I have centered from the last video. And now I'm going to add bones. So what I'm going to do is determine what side of this lamp am I looking at. And it looks like right here I'm looking at the side view, and this view is from the front. So I'm just going to click on this, and I'm going to press F. And now I need to press Z to get this in here. Okay, I'm going to hide the light just so it's not bothering me. I'm going to hide selection. Okay, so now I'm going to add the bones. And... I don't need a bone in the base, I just need a bone from here to here to here for the head of the lamp and then I'm going to right click. So to bring up the bones I'm going to go to animation and click on bone tools. And then make sure that you're flat right here, you can see the grid all over the place. Um, if you don't, just figure out what side of the cube you're on and press that letter. F is front, B is bottom, T is top, um, L is left, right won't do anything because R is scale. So make sure it's one of those. Um, all right, and now I'm going to create bones. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to go to where this joint is going to pivot. So it looks like it's going to pivot right around here. So I'm going to make sure that I click on that, and now I'm going to scroll up. And I, did, I don't have this closer as close as I need to. This should be a little bit closer, but that's all right for this uh, example. And now I'm going to go down here to the, the extent of the lamp, and then I'll right-click and get out of that. So now I'm going to right-click, and now I need to attach this stuff. So it's a little bit different than the, the skin modifier, but first I need to make sure it's right in the middle. So I'm going to go up here, look at it from a different view, in this case the left. I'm going to change this view. Uh, to make sure I'm only looking at the bones, and I'm going to move it and center it up a little bit, okay? So now what I need to do before I uh, link it is click on the base, and I'm going to go to Animation, IK Solvers, HI Solver to give a handle. So now you can increase the handle if this X right here needs to be bigger. You can scroll down to the display, and then the goal display right here is enabled at 15. You can crank it up, or you can press R and scale it yourself. So it's just the bigger it is, the easier it is to grab. Um, so here is how it's going to move. Now I just need to link the lamp up correctly. So at this point, I can go back into selecting all, and I can re-position this right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is link this stuff up. So I'm going to press um, this button right here. Um, it's the select and link, so I'm going to go to the object to the bone. So I click on the object, click and drag it until the bone highlights, and then I let go. Okay, I'm going to go up here and do the same thing up here. I'm going to hover over this blue box, and I'm going to click and drag it to the bone until the bone is yellow, then I'll let go. And then I'll go up here and do the same thing to this. I'm dragging the lamp head to the bone. And then I'll let go. Okay, and now I'll press F3, F4, and I'm going to get out of this by pressing w, w, and I should click on the lamp here, and it should animate correctly. So once this is the case, I can go into uh, bone mode, and I can select all the bones, and I can right-click and hide them because I don't need them anymore. I just need this handle right here. Go up here to all, and then click. Okay, so that is this video. The next video, I'm going to show you how to rotate this stuff.